got a box full of bits here. Um, putting the solar panel on the van, it's dry. I've already stuck two corner brackets on, uh, sticker flex down. So we're going to uh, we're going to put it on hopefully today, get it set down and bonded to the roof and screwed in where it needs to be screwed in. Um, and I'll show you the wiring. I'll just uh, get up uh, up the ladders and I'll show you what we what we're doing. Let me just uh, wait, get up the, up the ladders. And it's windy yesterday. Put a load of rubbish on the roof of the van. Needs a real good clean. But that's a new panel. That far side I've already stuck two corner brackets on. Um, in my box here. We'll have the two corner brackets which will stick down on the roof and then we'll stick the panel onto them and there's two more which are central brackets which will sit right halfway down that side there so we're going to put the central ones in first and then and then you can see the wiring up there the original wiring's there so I've got a splitter two into one for both a positive and negative so we'll join them both together that's your one there we we'll join them together and that goes into the original wiring and into the controller then I'll be upgrading the solar controller next so yeah that's what we're that's the original panel there so we've got this one as well that's 120 uh, 120 that's 100 that one so we should have uh, sufficient for what we need there is, there is more room if we want any more because TV aerial here which I'm debating what to do whether to take that out and put a, a different sort of aerial in and we've got another space here then another good space there for, for another decent sized panel so let's get cracking while it's not raining so that's the uh, middle mount I'm just going to clean the other side up now put the other middle mount in Ooh, ladders are slippy put the other middle mount in on that side that's that one and then we'll go and put the others on there we go, that one's in, stuck down, sick of flex, that one's in, these two were done previously, so we're going to put a drop of sick of flex to bed it on, and we'll go and do the others at the back. So there we go, all mounted on, extension cables connected, we need to run them down the side and tap into the original panel now, we, we're sorted with that, so uh, all stuck on and bonded on, we'll put some screws in there once it's set. But it's not going anywhere, it's fairly solid as it is, so there we go. And there's a the wiring. <laughs> it's a bit like spaghetti junction at the minute. So extension cable off the original solar. Sorry, off a new solar panel comes down. It's T-pieced into the uh, original and back in. So essentially now I've doubled up the, the power output of the solar panel. So all these wires here are gonna get tied up, we're gonna be zip tied together and clipped down on the roof. So uh, be fine these connections are all waterproof so they're fine so uh, we'll leave it for a bit make sure it's working all right and then we'll get the wiring tied it up i'm also going to seal that junction box there that trunk there because it looks a bit dodgy like it's not sealed very well so i'm going to clean that up and seal that as well but that's it it's probably if you space on your roof of your van and you want to add a panel it's probably not a massive job uh, two hours at the most cleaning just a prep really make sure the roof's clean i've got to put some screws in that uh, panel just a couple just to hold it but generally it uh, should be fine so we'll uh, get onto the solar controller next which is going to be upgraded here's the solar control i'm putting in i've taken out that tel teleco one i think it's uh, a good, good few years old that one so um i'm not sure on the amp uh, what it is but uh, this one's 20 amps so it should be sufficient it's charging up slightly now as you see on the batteries but uh, there's a manual button to to put the load on it's so a one which i've got from the folding solar panel so i will eventually probably upgrade it to a better one uh, i'll just see monitor it to see how it works um well yeah with with two panels up there it should be fine Right, a uh, couple of weeks after, um, and I've been messing around with my solar controllers. That was the original one, a Teleco one. Um, unknown rating, I don't know what uh, 
what it was capable of. So I put in a controller from the folding solar panel, which I bought a while ago. And that was linking the batteries together because there's a separate spur or wire for the uh, engine battery, for the cab battery. Um, and I found it was uh, charging that as well. So, <laughs> charging them all together, we don't always want to be charging the engine battery. So, um, I've taken the jump now, or leap, or whatever you want to call it, and I bought that. So it's wired in. Um, it's going dark outside now, actually. Sun's gone, so it's not charging. It's been charging today. Um, there is only one issue now. There is only one issue now, and that is... Uh, there must be an issue with one of the batteries, even when the batteries are fully charged up the two uh, 120 amp hour uh, standard uh, LED batteries, ledger batteries, when they're fully charged up, uh, it's flat fairly quickly. I think there's one of the two which are down, I think it's gone down. So this controller here, this uh, this Victron Energy MPPT, it's 130, so it'll take 100 volts from solar panels on the roof. Uh, so there's space for another panel at some point I might connect up uh, and it'll ch it'll charge a maximum of 30 amp to the to the batteries which should be sufficient um, it has been charging it was sunny today I've just put it in today it's roughly two weeks since I put the extra panel on it's not made a big lot of difference if I'm honest because like I say we've got a battery down when we've charged that ba the batteries the leisure batteries on the charger in the van the flat within a few hours again so i think one of the batteries is is kaput and it's drawing the other one down so that one there will take a, a nice upgrade it, it, it'll allow us to charge up the lithium batteries and everything on the settings of a uh, app which i'll show you now um anyone who's got the victron smart solar charge controllers will know this app already no doubt uh, and that's the app uh, you can set, alter all the battery settings and stuff so uh, it's supposed to be up to 30 percent more efficient than the pulse width um, modulation type uh, controllers of PWM controllers it's supposed to be better so uh, yeah it's certainly a lot bigger than than that one and uh, it's got an heat sink on the back so it obviously means uh, means business so we're going to get that one screwed up now um, I am going to wire in the cable which connects up to the battery on the engine um, but I'm going to put it on the switch so when in the middle of the summer if we need to just top the battery up while we're on site we can do it and give it a blast with the solar uh, and we'll just switch it from one to the other habit switch so uh, there we go that's uh, hopefully concludes for now we'll leave you in peace and uh, catch you later